Where are you going? I thought you were asleep. No, I'm just lying here, dozing, thinking about you, how lovely you are. How do you work that out? You're a bloke in a million, Marlon. Gorgeous, <sighs> hard working. More and more. <laughs> and now the wedding's out of the way. I really want to put my back into the restaurant. I want to do everything I can to make a go of the business. Our business? Yeah, our business. It's going to be fantastic, Marlon. I've got a feeling in my bones. Good. So you not feel different now? Being married? No, but I'm not, am I? Well, legally you are, Mrs Fisher. Which means you can't marry anybody else for quite a while. I know. Look on the bright side. At least I can't run off and marry anyone else. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I know. What worries me, you could still get caught, you know? Job applies for residency. They hardly ever check, Marlon. It'd be fine, honest. Once I get all the forms signed, I'll be well shot of it. You reckon? Yeah, promise. I'm going to get that all sorted this morning. And then I'm all yours. <laughs> Start going to work already? Afraid so. I should have got up earlier if you wanted to catch him. He's never home. You're on the late shift this evening, aren't you? Yeah, supposed to be. I'm going to ask if I can change it. You don't have to come on really because of me. Ollie, you're doing your exams. You need one of us here at least some of the time. So it's so you can check up on me, make sure I'm doing my work? Well, I don't want you to duck out on your exams like Mark did, that's for certain. I'm not going to. I told you I was going to make an effort. I know, I know. Well, we just have to humour her. Joseph and I are all she's got. Anyway, what about you? When am I going to see you again? Now, oh, that's what I was hoping you were going to say. Tonight it is. See you then. Bye. Morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, fine, thank you. Oh, by the way, I can't remember if I told you Tara wants us all to have dinner tonight. Does she? Yes, and I think we should. It's a stud's busy season coming up. We should catch up. I can't. Not tonight. I made other arrangements. See if you can fix it for some other evening. OK. What evening would you like? Tomorrow? The day after? Fine. See what I can do. Oh, Paddy, your lady friend called. What? Who's that? Bev. She's not my lady friend. Well, you're the one she asks for whenever she phones here. Well, she didn't fancy me. And what did Bev say? Something about the school project. Oh, flipping heck. She needs the name of the winner by tomorrow, so would it be all right if she called by to collect the projects this evening? Oh, I'm going to turn to that. I haven't even started it yet. Oh, Zoe, lovely to see you. What can I do for you? Nothing. Just wanted to check on how things were going. Fantastic, really well. Jimmy Buchanan is thinking of sending us a really good mayor in April. I don't know who Jimmy Buchanan is. Uh, Irish holder. And the mayor's foal from last year sold to a very shrewd pinhugger last week. Good. And Adam said we had some new mayors arriving this week. Yep, they arrived yesterday. If all goes well, they should foal sometime around the middle of January and have their foaling heat towards the end of the month. You want me to look over them? Hmm? Yeah, if you want to. Adam was up here yesterday. He said he'd be happy to do it. And how many nominations we sold overall? Oh, uh, Lady Killer has got 30 so far, and uh, Homegrown Hero's got just 22, bless him. Uh, that's it right up to the end of May. Mm, so they can manage a few more. Yeah, we have got some spare capacity, especially in April. For some reason, there's a bit of a lull then. Maybe we should have a marketing drive. I'm sure Chris and I chased out some of Kim's old clients. Well, I think I've contacted most of them. But it'd certainly be worthwhile sitting down discussing the possibles. There are a couple of mayors that, if I were their owner, I'd be quite interested in getting to HG. I'm thinking more of advertising again. What about discussing it over dinner, you, me and Chris? Mm, fine. Let's do it. Tonight? Shay Marlon? Uh, actually, tonight's not a good night. I've got someone coming round. You couldn't change it, cos I know it's the best night for Chris. Oh, sure. No problem. <laughs> I'm longing to talk shop. Good. Thanks. All I need now is your signature and your passport. Oh, it's all filled in. Yeah, I filled it in. That's because he's the applicant. And I'm the spouse. <laughs> I get it. Where do I sign? Uh, here. Blimey. Looks so official. <laughs> Come in. 
Uh, good morning. Just thought I'd see if you were all right after yesterday's events. Hello, Grandad. Come in. Morning, Jason. Hi. Joe. Hi. So, you did go through with it, then? Of course we did. We had a good day, didn't we? <laughs> Pity you weren't there to see me. Mm. How's Marlon? Is he all right? It's fine. It's not as if it's a proper marriage. No, quite. Well, at least that makes it better, from his point of view. Is that what I think it is? But do, do, do you mind if I have a look? Uh, well, uh... uh... No, it'd be great if you would, Alan. We don't want to mess up on this one. I, I know you think this is just a lot of red tape, and I understand your thinking, although I don't entirely agree with it. This is an official document. You could go to prison if you were caught, and you could be deported. So, for your sake, as for everyone else's, if you're determined to go down this path, I think I'd better make sure that you've got it right. What's it like to be happily married, Shaw? Why'd you ask? Oh, I've been getting earache all day. Don't know how you cope. I didn't know there was anyone on this scene. Oh, there isn't. Uh, there isn't. I've just got a very possessive sister, that's all. That'll be her now. Her ears must be burning. Chris Tate. Chris, it's me. Tara can only make tonight. Oh, how did I guess? Eight o'clock. Show Marlon, OK? Now, you listen, Zoe. You're not going to stop me that easy. But yes, OK, I'll see you there. There she goes again. It's always easier to let them have their own way, I reckon. Or at least to let them think so. <laughs> Sean Reynolds. Hello, it's me. You shouldn't ring me at work. Change of plan. I have to go out this evening. OK. I'd still like to see you, though. I hope you'd still like to see me. You know I would. So what's it to be? Early or late? Early. As early as possible. That's what I like to hear. I'll be ready for you after five. You sound like you're ready for me now. Yeah, I am. I'll see you then. Oh, Sean. If you're really good, I might let you come back for a nightcap. Received your orders, then? <laughs> Something like that. About uh, 6.30. And the name is? Fine, we'll see you then. Bye. Eric, lovely to see you. You're busy, I know, but I couldn't resist. Got something for you. For me? Oh, lovely. Ah, the most extraordinary piece of luck. I was in Hotton yesterday seeing a friend, and uh, there in his shop. What's this? The matching vase to yours. <laughs> Not wishing to miss a golden opportunity. <laughs> you bought this for me. Oh, Eric, you shouldn't have. What on earth did it cost? Not much. Not much. I got a good deal on it. He's an old mate. Really is very good of you. How can I ever thank you? <laughs> Well, you can start by inviting me to supper. Oh. Well, of course. Yes, uh, when would you like to come? Tomorrow too soon? No, no, come tomorrow. Oh. And thank you so much for thinking of me. It really was very kind. <laughs> well, as I said, it, uh, it, it was a snip. Uh, 150. How much? 150. But now that you've got the pair, it'll be worth... Uh, 700? Ah, uh, you don't need to pay me straight away, yeah. Give me a cheque any time you like. Bye. Bye. Honestly, like a couple of overgrown kids. Right, damn tools, switch the TV on. Time to watch the video. The video? Fantastic. Um, I am trying to concentrate here. Which is a video channel on? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, mate. It's usually I don't I'm obviously not going to get anything done this Maybe afternoon, am I? Maybe it's a AV thing. Uh, is there an AV button? No. Where's the working? No, it's AI9. 
Something wrong? Yeah. House sharing, for starters. Sometimes I wish I lived up on a little cottage on the moors on my own. Do you want a hand? Uh, yeah, please. I I'm going to explain all this to Bev. Oh, dear. I'm not having a very good day, either. Look what turned up for me this afternoon. I thought you'd sold that. I had. Guess who bought it? Eric. What, well, and it's present, is it? No. No. I'll have to write him a cheque for an awful lot more than I sold it for. Oh, Gloria, you should have told him. I couldn't do that. I don't want everyone knowing I'm hard up. We well, can't afford it. What are you going to do now? I'm not going to sell it again, that's for sure. Not round here. Before I know it, he'll have snapped it up again. I wouldn't mind. But I never really liked the thing anyway. Hey, watch this. This is the best bit. Just look at Joe's face. <laughs> you thought someone's speaking up. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> I did think it was someone speaking up. I nearly jumped out of my skin. <laughs> so this is where you are. Hello, Marlon. Hello, Marlon. Watching the wedding video. Come and join us. No, I should have started cooking half an hour ago. Oh, relax. Grab a tinny. No, thanks. I thought you said you were coming over to help me this afternoon. I'm coming, Marlon. Sorry. I was on my way and then I bumped into Frankie. Here it comes. Here's the kiss. Congratulations. Hey, does that look convincing or what? <laughs> Certainly does. Oh, Marlon. Don't be like that. Oh, look at Edna there. Look <laughs> at that expression. <laughs> we had to make it look convincing. Otherwise, what's the point? I'm going to the restaurant. I've got work to do, even if you haven't. Not doing very well this afternoon, are we? That's two people we've offended. <laughs> when you start talking horses, I just switch off. You shouldn't. It's interesting. Not to me. I can't even understand the jargon half the time. Nominations, covers, returns. <laughs> you know perfectly well what covering is. Mm. Well, on that note, I am off. Goodbye. What about later? Are you coming back? I could be home here by ten. You're getting keen, aren't you? Not as keen as you. Hmm. I can take it or leave it. Oh, really? Funny that you always take it, then. Come here. No, no, I've got to get back. Uh, yes, of course. There's a wife somewhere, isn't there? Loyal and waiting. Will she have your supper ready for you? Leave Angie out of this, if you want to see me again. Mm, threats now. I'll see you when I see you. I'll see you tonight. Lay you any money you like. And if she's not right in a couple of days, bring her back and we'll have another look at her. Mm, thank you. Hello. Hi. Uh, sorry, I hope you haven't been waiting long. No? A couple of minutes. Listen, I'm sorry for hassling you about these projects. I know you're busy. No, no, no. Uh, they were very interesting and I'm glad you reminded me though, because it's the sort of thing I'd usually leave to the last minute. Actually, I've got a confession to make. You haven't got round to judging them. No, it's, it's worse than that. You see, I, as I was looking at them, Joe and Jason were horsing around and Jason fell into the table. Paddy, I've heard every excuse in the book. Why don't you just come out with it? You spilt coffee over one of the projects. Several, actually. <laughs> I've done the same thing myself many a time. Don't worry about it. Did you finish judging them? Uh, no. <sighs> OK. So how about we do it now? Holly, I'm home. Hiya. Angie, what are you doing here? I thought you were working. Well, I was, but I changed my shift because I thought you were going to be late. Yeah, well, I've got to go back later, but I just thought I'd come home, spend a bit of time with Holly. Snap. Only trouble is she's not here. She's at a mate's. She just phoned to say she's stopping the night. Typical. And Mark's at the wall pack. On the other hand, you're here, I'm here. House is empty. Seems too good an opportunity to miss. Look, uh, I've got a better idea. Really? Y yeah. Why don't we go down to Shea Marlin? Make an evening of it. Spending money on me now. What has got into you, Sean? Well, just give me ten minutes. I'll, I want to have a quick shower. Why don't you phone and book a table? Oh, well. It's really just a fancy name for Rissoles. When all's said and done, that's what it boils down to. I think that's everything. Enjoy your meal. Thanks very much. Thank you. Oh, it looks lovely. Betty, 
Did somebody call me? Yes, me. Listen, you're not to make everything on Marlon's menu sound like bangers and mash. What was said now? You said croquettes were like rissoles. Well, it's true, they are. Well, that's not the point. People come here for something a bit more sophisticated. So here we are. Who's got the agenda? What happened to you? You called the matron. Did I? Used to me. I thought it was you who summoned me. I was rather frightened. I thought I was going to be hauled over the coals. Oh, no, no, Tara. Not you. Everything to your satisfaction? Fine, fine. Marlon. Yes? We're going to have to get rid of Betty. She's just not good enough. Why? She turns up every night, on time, which is more than can be said for some people. Marlon, you talking about me? What over there, Tricia? Table three. Marlon? Tricia, we're working. This particular foal was by Ramondo. Out of midnight moonbeams. Moonbeams was the daughter of Pick of the Bunch. I'm afraid Chris isn't really interested in bloodlines. <clears throat> oh, pretty. Well, I don't see what more you can do to help unless you put the Home Farm Stand logo on all your lorries. Website. Sorry? We need a website. You should put Richie onto it. Now's not the time with everything else he's got on his mind. We need to get on to it. I'm serious, Chris. If we had a website, any updates about cults and fillies would be immediately available. Fine. Whatever you suggest. Oh, my goodness. Look who's here. Oh, no. What? Sean! Angie, come and join us. Yeah, we've got a table booked. Would you mind just waiting a couple of minutes, love? Only your table ain't quite ready. Come over here. That's the end of the business meeting. We are not going to sit with them. Oh, I'll take you a couple of chairs across, love. Don't worry, it's no trouble. Pour another card over the table, too. There. So tell us, Sean, what have you been doing today? Nothing special. Oh, dear. No exciting liaisons to liven things up. Chris keeps him far too busy for that sort of thing. Anyway, you're not the type, are you? <laughs> Is that right? I suppose being in the police force, you develop a bit of a nose for that sort of thing. What sort of thing? Oh, you know, deception, lies, that sort of thing. Mm. All things bogus, especially people. Smell them a mile off. Goodness, I had no idea. So some lines of inquiry actually end in convictions, do they? Well, naturally. What did you expect? Well, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll skip pudding. I have to get back for another appointment. Zoe, would you like a lift? No, thank you. Excuse me. I take it, will you say the Yeah, it's just so bad, love. I'm sorry. Not your fault. Is Chris going back to the office as well? No, I wouldn't think so. Why? Oh, nothing. Just Sean seems to be there all hours at the moment. Excuse me. Uh, I'm sorry I snapped at you earlier. Oh, Marlon, it's my fault. I should have been messing about with Jason and Joe this afternoon. Oh, he's just seen so happy in that video. I'm... Marlon, I was only acting. Talk about it later, yeah? Sean, lovely to see you. Do you want anything there for a quick one? What the hell do you think you're playing at? It's just a bit of fun. For you, maybe. I can't stand this. Well, that's not the impression you give when you're panting up to Oakwell. Well, I'm not coming up to Oakwell anymore. Empty words, Sean. You can't stay away. Can't I? We'll see. Just make sure you're there by midnight. Those three are the shortlist. And that's the winner. Are you sure? Because before that's you... That's the winner. So, we're done. We're done. It wasn't so bad, once you got down to it. Once we got down to it. It was a bit more fun with the two of us, wasn't it? Paddy, can I take you out to dinner to say thank you for the time you've put in? Well, there's no need. I know that. I want to. Will you come? Uh, yeah, all right then. It's a bit late now, for Tomorrow, then. Great. Trisha? Yeah? You know when you were snogging Joel? I wasn't snogging him. I just kissed him for the camera. Oh, well, it looked like snogging to me. Oh, it wasn't. But go on. What do you want to know? What's he like? How do you mean? Was it? Well, is it... Is he better than me? At kissing? Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. So he is. 
Oh, I don't know. It's been so long since we've kissed. I'd have to do a quality test. Come here. I'm putting these puddings in the fridge. I know, I know. You shouldn't call them puddings. <laughs> See what you mean about better. Yeah. And uh, the answer to your question, you're definitely champion. Yes. <laughs> Come here, give me another one. <laughs> I'm sorry, Angie. I'm really sorry. It wasn't your fault. It was that flaming Tara. I don't know why she asked us to go and sit with her in the first place. It's not as if we've got anything to say to one another. She's just a wind-up merchant. Yeah, I know she is, and she's good at it too. She made me feel like the most pedestrian, boring person in the world. You're not boring, Angie. You are worth ten of her any day. Yeah, I know I am. And I know she's just an empty-headed tire. Just no, she no, made... Angie, forget about her. Let's go to bed. Aren't you going back to the office? No, I'm not. I'm staying right here, where I belong. 